everyone. So today is um, November 6th and tomorrow on November 7th is a national day for CRPS awareness. And uh, this is an issue that really uh, I hold dear because uh, I have this disease in my ankle and uh, so little people know about it so I decided that I would do a painting with uh, orange because it's the color of the organism that tries to bring awareness to this uh, cause. CRPS is a quite a painful disease, it's not deadly so uh, that's good <laughs> but it, uh, it feels like my a right foot is on fire like pretty much all the time and it hurts. Uh, it's probably that reason they took the orange because it's the color of fire and the organism is called burning nights because uh, pain is worse at night. So yeah, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to bring awareness uh, with art and so I picked uh, all my orange and a fluorescent red. The fluorescent red uh, when under black light uh, reacts more orange so uh, that's why I picked it. I also have black uh, because um, of the night aspect of the disease and I thought it would look more interesting with black. I have a bit of an idea I'm trying to accomplish today. I have uh, a bit of an idea that I want to accomplish today. I want a fluid painting that looks a bit like a fire. So um, fire and smoke maybe. So yeah let's get started with that. I mixed my paints the usual way. It's 50-50 uh, paint NGAC 800 pouring medium made by Golden Acrylics. Um, the fluid paint, the heavy body paint is the same ratio. Soft body is the same ratio as well even though I didn't use any here. And then I will add the water. I added about 20% water to the heavy body paints and I added a little bit of water to my uh, fluid acrylic to lighten it up. I really thought uh, not going well I'm really not going for cells in this painting so I added water to all my colors. They all have light densities. This one is a bit more dense but since I added water I'm hoping it won't make cells. And I also have inks. When I mix uh, well, one ink and one high flow acrylic they're pretty much the same. Quite pigmented. They are very very pigmented actually. And you don't need a lot of them to color your pore medium. So it's one part ink to ten part medium. Uh, also add a lot of medium to a little ink because the inks will dry really quickly and uh, form a top film really quickly. And if you don't put enough medium in them, uh, your painting will most likely crack because they form, form the top film and that top film will move on the paint and uh, you will see the cracks and you will see the colors under. So yeah, I'll zoom you in and I will get started. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start the, by um, pouring a little bit of uh, the non-fluorescent orange. Okay, so now what I'm thinking about doing is just 
Swipe this. I'll re-swipe it. Just try not to stop midway. There we go. And now comes the interesting part. I'm going to play with the Jagged Swipe tool. I have a new tool that I made this morning. The teeth. The, the shark teeth tool. <laughs> I'm going to call it that. And one last pass with this one. So I'm just going to cover my sides. So yeah, I don't think we will ha we'll have cells in this one. It wasn't the intention anyway. I think I made something fall in my painting though. Because I didn't put any white in there. Well, we do have some here and here, but nothing uh, that I didn't really want to accomplish. I think it's very different looking from what I usually do. But the concept behind it was uh, quite different as well. It wasn't just a... Uh, well, it was a, a play with color, but the color had a particular purpose and I really wanted it to pop. I really like the look of it. Can't wait to see how it will look under black light. I hope it looks like uh, flames or smoke under black light. That's what I was going for. We have a smoky look here as well, and a, a bit of a flame look here. The painting will be, uh, it won't be on that side, it's going to be that way. Portrait instead of landscape. I just paint it that way because it's easier to swipe from left to right for me. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I really like the swirly look the both swipe tools made. I think it looks very interesting. I think it will look even more interesting under black light. I think uh, it's a uh, pretty good painting and it will dry much darker because of the transparency of uh, the oranges and I used black as an other color so it's going to dry a lot darker it will change I will put picture in the outro as usual so you can see the difference 
and see the changes of look, uh, uh, daylight and black light as well. And we're back. So, uh, quite an interesting painting. Uh, if you'd like to know more about CRPS and would like to help the cause, um, bring more awareness to the disease, check out burningnights.com, I think. Or you can just Google Burning Night. I will leave the link in the description anyway, so uh, you can check it out. Um, like I said, it's an issue that's uh, dear to me because of uh, I'm affected by that thing, <laughs> disease. Uh, my ankle is pretty bad, but that's okay because painting really helps me uh, forget about it all and <laughs> it brings a lot of uh, positivity to uh, my day. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the uh, reason why I paint. I enjoy it a lot and it helps me cope with the pain. So yeah, <laughs> that's about it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!